The island's Manamku are weighing in on how to stop the violence among our youth. The issue circulating after riots unfolded on Guam Department of Education campuses. Northern resident Cecilia Mulligan supporting the Attorney General's suggestion on implementing disciplinary actions, including campus custodial duties to deter fighting and rioting. They need to be exposed so that other kids will say, hey, you do that and then, you know, that's the end of the results. I like that. And, and that would minimize the work of the custodian, the office aid, and et cetera, et cetera. The idea also garnering support from Manila resident Joseph Pangalinan. That may help. May help somehow. On Wednesday, the AG was joined by education leaders, law enforcement, and senators for a roundtable in hopes of coming up with solutions. Among the ideas, corporal punishment in schools. That's where those we spoke with are divided in their response. Corporal punishment is unnecessary in school. Disciplinary, I'm very, very tough on that. And I'm with the, the AG. You play the game, you get, you know, you get punished. And while this wiser generation agrees a realistic solution to the problem is complex, they say part of solving the issue starts at home. We really need to be proactive with all our youngsters nowadays because there's just so much stuff going on around the world. And really and truly, it starts from the home. And we, and we really need to be proactive in our community. I'm for no uh, violence in school. All my kids, they grow up in school, never have any problem with them. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a no-timer, uh, you know, so I raise my kids up uh, properly and was responsible for their action. Following the discussion, Guam Education Board member Dr. Ron McNinch told the AG, quote, it is likely far more efficient and effective to train willing teachers how to deal with potentially troublesome students. McNinch adding regarding corporal punishment, taking away smartphones or limiting access might help.